Welcome back everyone, Magical Chronicles here. Happy Halloween! So I'm dressed as Pippi Longstocking. I don't know if you all know who that is, but that was like one of my favorite childhood cartoon and TV series. It was a blast. She was this kind of kooky, kind of funky girl that liked to go on adventures. And yes, yeah, so I wanted to really, you know, do her for Halloween. I know you can't see the full outfit, but I'm actually wearing like these socks that are actually quite cute. And I'm really like getting into the full character. All right, so for those of you who are new, I like to do the Venus sign of all the zodiacs, which means that I like to tap into your abundance. So I like to look at your wealth, your finance, your money. I might even look at your love, your career, your relationships, your friendships, travel, self-care, and luxury. All right, Venus sign of Aquarius, I did the premeditation for you and you are really questioning yourself in your relationships. Now this is coming through for both singles and couples. Now in terms of the singles, this is more so for those who are just getting out there and dating and you are trying to figure out if this is the right relationship for you. You're trying to figure out if you even wanna be with this person or is it more a case of I'm lonely, I'm bored, and maybe I should just settle. So that's number one. Number two is those of you who are in um, partnerships as a couple, I'm getting this more for those of you who are married. Divorce has been coming up. Some of you know that you are meant to get a divorce, but some of you are a little bit kind of like undecided. You're weighing the pros and cons. A lot of you keep thinking about you don't want to be lonely like you feel like if you move away from whoever this is you're dating whether this is a casual date or you're a marriage you feel as though you're never going to find the right person so let's go ahead and see what's going on with that self-esteem and find out what you need to learn and understand for your highest good right now right so those of you who are new hit the subscribe button if you've been here before hit the like button and let's get right into it all right i'm gonna focus on some love for you Today, being a sign of Aquarius singles, what do you need to learn and understand for your highest good? All right. Yeah, so actually, there's a good bit of chemistry right now between you and this person that you've been thinking about, that you've been dating. Those of you who are on the dating scene, but you're single and you're kind of... I get the feeling this is more somebody who... You're not quite in a relationship, but you've been really getting to know each other. And I see that you are trying to decide, like, do I really like this person or am I bored? Like, am I really feeling this person? Like, I've been single for so long and I just, like, you know, you really are enjoying the conversation. But at the same time, I feel as though maybe deep down inside you're not quite ready. So it's saying that there's a lot of, a, a like, strong attraction between the two of you. And actually, the bottom of the deck is here saying that you need to keep an open mind. That your soulmate is actually going to differ from what you're expecting. Yes, yes, yes. First card out was about the chemistry. So there's chemistry there. And I really believe you need to keep that open mind, right? Let's go ahead and get a couple more cards for you and find out what's going on for the Venus sign of Aquarius singles, please. Oh, two cards pulled up. All right, so that's so crazy. I knew you were going to get the five of pentacles. Like, that was just flashing in my mind as I did your meditation. So... You're a strong person. That's what I'm seeing here. You're strong. You can have whatever you want. It's just the attitude sometimes that you you think, I don't know if it's like maybe you think you're not worth it or you're not worthy. I, I feel like that's what's coming up. Like maybe you feel like there's some kind of lack of, um, I would say it's like, a, it has more to do with the self-esteem. It's like this self-esteem where you feel like, you know, should I even bother to try? I feel like that's what's coming up for you. It's like you keep questioning if you should bother to try, but you're a very strong person. You know what you want. You can get what you want. Let's get one more card here because you got the King of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. Let's go ahead and clarify the two, please. All right. We got the Hangman. So it's about you really letting go of the shit that's happened in the past. And really, look, you got to make a decision as to if you really want a relationship. Because I think that is the other thing is that sometimes you wonder if you want to 
sacrifice being single and having fun and being able to do your own thing and then all of a sudden you have to make room for a partner in your life so i think that's also what's coming up here with the hangman is that i think you do need to let go of that um it's like that undecided factor it's like you're you're a bit undecided like do i want this am i sure i want this and i, I think deep down inside you want a relationship but i think um sometimes you're a bit afraid to just you know let go and like i said you see this open mind card you got to be open mind right now because whoever you're talking to is completely different to what you're used to so i think that's what has you a little bit like off balance right but yeah i say go for it this is going to be a great relationship for you all right let's go ahead and hit the couples and then we're going to come back and look at some self-care for the for the two of you all right, so Venus in Aquarius couples. What's going on? I, I keep seeing divorce coming up for you. Oh, so it's about the children. I feel like somebody wants more kids or somebody wants kids and the other person does not want kids. And that might be the issue. And some of you, I feel as though whoever this is that got a kid already... Why do I feel like somebody got pregnant thinking that this would mend or cement the relationship and it didn't? And you seem to think that having another child is going to do, is going to help the relationship. No, you need to mend the issues in the relationship before you can have another child. I'm sorry to say that. I know people don't like to hear that stuff, but it's true. You need to have a conversation. Oh, oh. Heart-to-heart -heart discussions, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Y'all need to have a conversation. Y'all need to mend things before you make a decision to have another child. And if your partner doesn't want another child and you really do, you're going to have to make some hard decisions. Because I feel like there's a situation here where you, you, some of you or somebody in particular is in a relationship and this particular partner does not want children. You cannot change the partner's mind. So y'all got to discuss that and you're going to have to make the hard decision as to can I stay in this relationship knowing that I will not have kids or I'm going to have to move on. And that divorce, yep, that's what's on your mind. All right, let's get a couple of cards to clarify what's happening here with the divorce with the Venus in Aquarius couples, please. Let's get... Somebody's thinking about work. I think that's why children is not on their mind. I think some of you, somebody here is with a partner where this particular partner is very busy, well-known. Are you dating an actor? Possible. One of you dating someone who's well-known in the entertainment industry in some sort where this person is not thinking about kids right now because they've got a lot going on, traveling, always on set, um, dealing with the publicity of it all and there's a lot of work coming in for them so children is not in their focus right now but i see i i feel as though um they may wait they may want that later on down the line but you can't force that situation they're actually trying to that's the six of wands right and you have the two of pentacles here where they're trying to find the balance in their life that they're trying to balance work and a relationship and still have time for themselves right um, and they're finding that very difficult because of the amount of work that they have coming in. Um, they are very much focused on their work. Like work is at the forefront right now. Whoever this is that's in a relationship and they want kids and the partner doesn't, they're so focused on their work right now that that's taken over from them. Like that's all they think about is work, 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 money, 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 money. Let me get this paper. That's what they're thinking about. They're not thinking about building a family. So that's something that you are going to need to make a decision. All right, let's get one more card. I'm getting this feeling to pull for Venus and Aquarius. Couples, please let's clarify these first three cards. Six of Wands, Two of Pentacles, and High Priestess. Just get one more shuffle. Please clarify the six of wands, two of pentacles, and high pieces. Yeah, you are going to have to talk to your partner and y'all are going to have to come to some sort of agreement, some sort of negotiation as in like if 
you put off not having a child right now, maybe we can revisit this in like two years. But some of you, I think you worry that it may be too late if you put it off some more. So you got to weigh the pros and cons and you got to ask yourself if this is worth it because only you can make the decision because right now everything is totally off balance. Like I said, your partner's trying to balance a work and family life, but there's so much work coming in. I see the money is good. Um, trying to make more money. I feel as though your partner feels as though there's not enough money. So that's why they, they work a lot. But yeah, you're going to have to make a decision. Um, you got to weigh the options right now with this two of pentacles because kids are very important to you. But for someone right here, the work is what's most important. All right. Let me show you the cards. So you got this with sub ones. Two of Pentacles, High Priestess, and your last card was the Two of Pentacles. Oh, look at that. You got the Two of Pentacles twice. Oh, yes. So you got to figure it out. These are, these are weighing the options, making the decision, pros and cons. Let's talk about this, what's happening here. All right. Um, let's get you a self-care card and see what's happening um, for the Venus sign of Aquarius, what they need to learn and understand for both singles and couples all right i'm gonna pull two cards for you because oh you got tears of joy and success so some of you ooh, let's get a clarification with this card as well for the venus sign of aquarius singles and couples please let's get one more card venus sign. Venus and aquarius singles and couples please all right so you got the tears of joy and success, like I said, and it's because there's a lot that you have to be grateful for, but it's also a lot of sadness in your heart. And like I said, you're trying to make the decisions to moving forward in your life. And I just see both singles and couples really just weighing the pros and options. Uh, sorry, weigh, blah, blah, weighing the pros and cons of this relationship or those who are out there dating. You're just weighing those pros and cons of like moving forward with this person or cutting your losses and that's for both of you so there's a lot of joy and there's a lot that you have to be grateful and thankful for but at the same time there's a lot of sadness inside of you where you're still trying to figure out what you truly want um you've got a second card with follow your dreams and i really believe that this has more to do with like following your heart like follow your heart right now in terms of what it is you want the fall of the dreams is the same thing so in other words you got to make the decision moving forward as to what you truly want and go with that because i i feel as though the the decision that you make is the right decision and with the fall of your dreams that might mean that you need to cut your losses in the relationship in terms of those who are um that want the kids you may have to cut your losses there and make a decision as to okay I'm going to have to start all over again, but I'm going to be happier this time. Or like I said, that heart to heart conversation where y'all might make a decision to just, you know, revisit this conversation in a year or two and see what happens. But I wish you all the luck, the best of luck, because these are the kind of conversations that you need to have in order to move forward. But I see you ended up finding happiness. I just think it's going to take you a while, right? All right, Venus sign of Aquarius, don't forget, like comment and subscribe and I will see you on the next one and happy Halloween to everyone have a great evening all right see you next time bye